Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. You join me here today somewhere just outside of Verona in this barren kind of wasteland and I wanted to do a bit of an overview of my Nuke Proof mountain bike, my Nuke Proof Scout Comp 275. For anyone who's interested in getting one or doing a little bit of research, do you want to see what it's actually like? Now I've had this bike about two and a half months now. You may see another video on my channel where I did like a bit of a uh, video with music showing the different parts of the bike but I wanted to give you my experience and my thoughts on it so far so first of all I'm finding the bike fantastic I used to have a 29 inch cross country mountain bike a cube which was great but then when I bought a gravel bike it seemed kind of similar and I wanted something that was a little bit slacker with greater suspension smaller wheels more agile one thing I love about this bike is it's incredibly light for a hardtail mountain bike. It's an aluminium frame. The frame is as secure and as steady as anything. You can see the welds on here are absolutely fantastic. It's a really meaty frame. Uh, and many people say that the nuke proof frames are as solid as, you know, they're nuke proof basically. You can't break them. Um, the only thing I've changed on the bike is I added the race face Chester pedals because pedals that you get with mountain bikes are usually pretty terrible so that's the only thing i've upgraded but the rest of it has been absolutely fantastic the suspension which is the marzocchi bomber z2 is incredibly plush it's got a really comfortable feeling and even though it doesn't have a lockout apparently if you twist the lockout kind of thing that's on it which isn't supposed to be full lockout, it gives you a really, it, it feels locked out, even though it's not marketed as having lockout. So it's fantastic for that. The gears are Shimano Dior 12 speed, and this is the quality of Shimano. It's incredible uh, changes, incredibly smooth. It's got a clutch on there. Like I say, 12 speed, 12 different gears, got a great range. And if you're going up hills like that, you can still pedal, which is fantastic. The wheels are actually phenomenal. I love that the wheels are smaller, 27.5 makes the bike feel so much more agile. And because I live in an apartment, it's also lighter to carry up and down the stairs. The other thing I've noticed compared to my 29 inch wheel mountain bike is that you get so much less toe overlap. I never have, a, have the fear of my toes touching the tires when I'm turning the bike it's absolutely fantastic for that i have about a 30 centimeter gap from my pedals my feet and the wheel when turning i just love the feeling of the 27.5 and how agile it actually is um yeah and also because the wheels are smaller the tires are actually 2.6 inches wide and you can see it gives it this monster truck like appearance and it's probably the most comfortable bike i've ever ridden like on any type of terrain it just feels like a cruiser like it's just it's like an suv i guess in a sense in in car terms and it, it's just a incredibly smooth riding bike the other thing maybe the last thing is is the brakes now the brakes are incredibly sharp you just touch them with one finger on each side and they stop you straight away really apparently there's four pistons in the brakes hydraulic that snap onto those rotors at the same time as you can probably tell, I'm not an expert with mountain bikes and bikes in general, but I wanted to give you my impressions as like an average consumer of this bike. And yeah, the dropper post as well. And the seat, I've not even changed the seat. I think sometimes we can suffer from upgrade-itis, it's called, where you want to change and upgrade everything all the time. But in reality, this, this bike as it comes is pretty much perfect for me, apart from those pedals. Like I say, I've got the race face chesters because I like a good set of pedals and I'm using them with my 510 mountain bike shoes. But yeah, incredibly comfortable bike. Um, not much more that I'd want out of a bike other than what I have here. Incredibly light, nimble, agile. Uh, I am trying to learn how to do wheelies and manuals and bun uh, what they call bunny hops. And also I'm doing, I have done a couple of up and down, more intense mountain biking things and I hope to do more in the future. So here I am in the woods. This is some kind of made up mountain biking course. I'm going to strap my GoPro to my helmet so you can get to see me doing a little bit of mountain biking on the Nuke Proof Scout Comp 275. And you can see how not very good I am at mountain biking, but that's part of the fun to learn 
how to become better at mountain biking. So at the moment I go quite slow with some of these jumps. You can see there's a little jump there and there and there's a couple of things further around. And you start on this kind of little ramp, but we've all got to start somewhere, haven't we? Okay. Nice skid around there. Yeah. Oh, it's harder than it looks because you're just non stop pedaling. Right, changing gear, pedaling faster, pedaling slower, etc. I'm coming back. Yeah. But if you have any comments that you want or any questions you want to ask me about this bike, please leave them down below. But I think for the price of this bike, which I think I got it for 1,500 euros here in Italy, and it was delivered without paying tax or anything like that from the UK. Um, and it's supposed to be 2,200 euros, and it's just a perfect all round bike. There's not much more you need in a mountain bike. And I actually prefer the smaller wheels than the bigger wheels on a mountain bike because it just feels more comfortable and easy to maneuver and lightweight, like I said. So. Thank you for watching. I hope this gives you a bit of an idea about the bike. And if you're searching for information or you want to ask me any questions, please ask. I see a lot of people using these for intense mountain bike rides, going up and down mountains, jumping off things because it's got a real slack angle and quite, it's got 130 millimeter suspension, which means it can really, you know, be comfortable going off big jumps and stuff. Uh, and again, because it's lightweight. So thank you for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.